Hi guys, and welcome to the YC Weekly. It looks like we've finally been blessed with snow. I know a lot of you may disagree, but I personally love the snow, and it's about time we got some. Too bad it'll probably all be gone by the time this airs. I've noticed that a lot of old shows and personalities are being brought back. Netflix in particular does this quite a bit. Some recent series that have already played the nostalgia card are Stranger Things, Fuller House, and Voltron. All of these shows have high viewership and praise, and it's pretty clear why. They retain enough elements from what you remember, while adding enough new material to avoid being a complete copy. Toonami is another program that relies heavily on viewers' nostalgia. For many people, Toonami was their first introduction to anime. I'm sure all of us can remember staying up late to watch One Piece or Sailor Moon. And later, how many of us cried when it was taken off the air? Luckily for us, Toonami was eventually brought back due to popular demand, letting us go back to enjoying all the anime we missed as well as more recent anime. Too bad by that point the internet made it obsolete. Nostalgia isn't always a good thing though. Sometimes people are so blinded by their nostalgia goggles that they refuse to see any flaws the show might have. <laughs> oh man, this show is as good as I remember. Really? It's so boring. It has nothing to do with the original. What? H how can you not appreciate the show? D do you know how many callbacks this has to the original? First of all, the wall. There's a depiction of the final battle that happened in the original on the wall. It's fantastic. While nostalgia can be used as an excuse to recycle what's old, it can also be a good way to bring back childhood memories if done correctly. Though, if there's time to remake something old, that time can also be used to make something original. That being said, I wouldn't mind if we got another season of Invader Zim. Well, that's all for this week. Be sure to like the Youth Channel Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week for our gritty reboot.